Hi guys, guess what? It's time for another mascara roundup. <laughs> yeah. So if you haven't seen one of my mascara roundups before, what it is is um, I, I tend to accumulate a lot of mascara as the months go on and you're only supposed to keep them for like six months or whatever, but I kind of base that on what the product feels like, what it smells like especially, and you know, just how it's how it's working for me and how often I use it. Like if I'm using a mascara every day, obviously it's not going to last as long as one that I use maybe once in a while. So every, you know, few months or so as I'm noticing, oh, it's time to get rid of some of these, I kind of like to do a little bit of a roundup and basically just talk about the ones that I have and which ones I liked and which ones I didn't like. And I'm just going to jump into that because a lot of the times they're different from time to time. Like they might, there are a couple that kind of travel, like kind of stay all the way through, but sometimes I've got some new ones. So let's talk about it. Oh, there's quite a few in here actually. Uh, I'm going to start with this one and it's the Maybelline Great Lash and it's in clear and I'm just going to mention this because it's a really inexpensive thing to use for your eyebrows. So I like that one. That one's a keeper. Then I have um, my CoverGirl Lash Blast and this is one that kind of stays with me but I kind of go in and out of using them and you know liking them and I'm back to liking these again just because I really find that they give a really nice dense, I find that I don't get a lot of length with them, so they can kind of make my lashes look stunted a little bit. I'm wearing it today. And you can see like there's not a lot of lash action going on there, but I do find it gives the most intense like volume right at the roots. It's very dark and it gives a lot of volume at the roots and that might be why they don't look very long, but it's excellent for just giving you a nice thick look at the lash line. So I love the Lash Blast and I absolutely adore the Lash Blast Waterproof. Now, I've started using this more often recently because of the fact that uh, in this time of year my eyes tend to water. So I hate when you get to work and like an hour after you put your makeup on and you've got like black underneath your eyes. So I do like having, um, having the waterproof. I think these are great. I'll continue to buy them even though I'll find other ones that I really like. It's nice to have um, that one always in my collection. Okay, next is the CoverGirl Lash Perfection, and I bought this a few months ago, and I adore this mascara. It's probably become my favorite mascara. I just noticed that, you know, even though I've got all these in my little bin here, this is the one that I'm constantly, constantly pulling out, and it's just got a normal brush on it, rubber bristle brush like the Lash Blast, but not as big as the Lash Blast brush, Lash, Lash Blast, blah, 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 Lash Blast brush, but the same material, and it's just got a good shape there, and it's perfect for, the, see, if you can see it kind of tapers down on the one, on the, it's kind of got a nose there, that's perfect for getting into the inner corner, um, I just really like that, it, it's got, a kind of, uh, the bristles on the brush are all kind of intermixed with each other. There's like three layers of bristles all interspaced. So that grabs each lash and coats and separates each lash and defines each lash, which I love. So it gives it a lot of volume, a lot of separation, a lot of definition. No smudging, no flaking under the eyes. Um, and it's very inexpensive. It's around $6. So this is a definite must have for me. Um, right now this is Holy Grail Mascara for me. I love it. The other one that I love as well is the Maybelline One by One. This was my Holy Grail for a long time. Um, it's got very interesting brush. It's kind of like got a weird kind of egg shaped brush where it's tapered on both ends, big in the middle. Um, again, it's got the three layers of bristles all interspersal that can grab each lash, lift, separate, define, gives a lot of volume, very dark, loved it. Um, started to prefer the Lash Blast more as time went on just because the brush is easier than this one. And I find the regular formula of this has a very bad smell. It's got that chemically lilac -y smell that I talk about in some of my other videos. And I just, I really don't like the smell. It can kind of irritate me, give me a headache. So um, that's the only draw drawback that I have to, to the regular is the smell. I don't really like it. But the waterproof version works just as well as the regular, and it doesn't have the smell. So I like that a lot. Next, moving on.
moving on to uh, Prestige, my biggest lashes. It's got a big, but again, it depends on what you like. For me, I love it because it's got a big brush, but this is just a natural bristle brush. It's not a rubber brush. Again, it's tapered. It's got a little nose there tapered at the end. And it gives nice, big, soft, fluffy lashes, and that's why I like it a lot. And um, this is one that I only tend to pick these up when my local drugstore is having, like, their 50% off mascara sale. I'll pick one up. Not that it's overly expensive anyway, but that tends to be the only time I really pick these up. And I think it's because um, it's not available at every drugstore that I go to, and it's not available at the big box stores, unlike the Maybelline, the CoverGirls, and stuff like that. But I do like this one a lot. I don't always have it in my collection, but it keeps coming back. Like I repurchase this periodically and I really do like it a lot and would recommend it if you like that nice big fluffy lash look. And I think the last of my favorites would have to be the Falsies from Volu Volume Express Falsies by Maybelline. It's got a funny little brush on it that does take some getting used to. It, basically you have to use it like a scoop. So you hold it this way first and you scoop through your lashes then you turn it this way and you'll see that it flattens up the brush and then that's when you go from the base of the lashes up. So the scoop side lifts and separates your lashes and then when you go like this and go through your lashes this way it really um, beefs up the volume, beefs up the color, coats every lash. This is a really great formula. I love it a lot. Okay, now we get on to ones that I don't really like that much. Explain to you. First one is um, the Maybelline Double X Pro Extendables. This one is volume. Two-step process where, you know, the first one is like a white um, fiber-filled kind of base coat that you put on. And then the second one is the mascara. Okay, I don't, I'm not a really big fan of this. Um, I found that the mascara on its own gave you exact same look as using the base. So I really didn't find that the base did anything extra special. I don't like the fact that the handle itself seems very, very short. So I had a really hard time getting, I just found that I didn't have as much control. I like having a little bit of a longer handle on it. Um, yeah, I just didn't, and it, it gave some volume, but not as much volume as my other mascaras did, and I don't know, it just seemed kind of gimmicky to me. Yeah, I didn't think it was that great, so I will not repurchase this one. Okay, I think I may have talked about this one in my last mascara roundup, but it's still here, so I'll talk about it again, and it's the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Mascara. This is length and volume. Um, you can get this at Target. You can get this at elf.com, eyeslipsface.com. It's got a rubber bristle brush on it, but it's very, very small. The brush itself does not give a lot of volume. The formula itself is not very volumizing. What it does do is separate and define each lash and kind of give you a nice natural look. So for me, this is good for those days where I'm not wearing a lot of makeup or I want to look extra conservative. You know, you just, you don't want to look like you're wearing big, heavy, um, false eyelashes. So that considered and the fact that it's only three dollars I think that this is good for that kind of look but don't think that you're gonna get super length and volume with it which is which is fine right like we all need that kind of non pow mascara every once in a while. Okay this is um, Canadian content. Uh, this is Le Big Show mascara from Annabelle. You can only get these in um, Canada at Walmart and uh, I think they're in some drugstores. Yeah, they're in drugstores like Shoppers Drug Mart and stuff like that. But I think you might be able to uh, purchase these online through AnnabelleCosmetics.com. I'm not exactly sure, so don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty much strictly Canadian. It's about $9 for um, the mascara and it's supposed to give you super big volume length, definition, the same kind of claims that everybody goes for. It's got a big brush, big natural bristle brush, doesn't smell or anything like that. Um, I just found the formula a little bit too thin. Um, it's one of those ones that the bristles will like actually poke through your lashes and deposit mascara onto your eyelids, so I didn't really like that. I didn't find it, you know, too volumizing. It was just kind of eh. So for the extra price, like it's about $2 more expensive than any other 
mascara at the drugstore. So, um, I don't know. You can... It's not the best, it's not the worst, certainly, but I just, I don't really think it's worth nine, eight, nine dollars. That's my opinion. And then the last one is the uh, Volume Accelerator Mascara with Volume Boosting Complex in Extreme Black from Rimmel. And I kind of like the packaging on this, it's very like glossy, powerful, it's got the little crown on it, like their um, uh, lipsticks have. Uh, so this is a breakthrough formula, breakthrough volume boosting formula with Prosap Prosapil and a unique plumping brush for remarkably fuller, lusher looking lashes, clinically tested, ophthalmotically tested. So I wish I'd kept the packaging because the packaging was hilarious. Apparently this boosts your volume of your lashes by 12 times the first time you use it. And then as you use it every day by 30 days, it will, I think it's 30 days, will boost the volume in your lashes by 30 times. Uh, yeah, so, okay, the first thing I have to say is the brush is kind of weird. It's, like, you can see how far apart the bristles are on the brush. Um, so, again, the bristles go right through my lashes and deposit a lot of mascara on my lid, so I didn't like that. I don't really understand the brush, didn't, I couldn't get the handle of it, like I didn't, I don't understand what this one kind of like exaggerated hump is, and then the small taper, so it kind of increases the volume just on one spot, but you know, everybody's eyes are different, so you know, you're not necessarily going to get that in the same spot every time. Um, I found the formula to be very thin, I found it didn't volumize my lashes hardly at all. And the worst thing that I find about Rimmel mascaras is, I think Rimmel has a lot of really good mascaras. I used to exclusively use Rimmel mascaras, but at the end of the day, I feel like I've got sandpaper in my eyes. So there was, and you know, my eyes are very, like, it's hard for me to blink. And so there's something in Rimmel mascaras that irritate my eyes, and I stopped using them, and it went away. But, I don't know, again, packaging and all the marketing claims on it. I thought, I'm going to give Rimmel a try. It's been about a year since I've worn a Rimmel mascara. And I, I just liked them so much. Like, the Volume Max was my favorite. I loved it. Um, and I, so I just wanted to try. And I wanted to try one of these kind of growth accelerating mascaras. So I gave this a try. Again, um, really irritating my eyes. Just kind of feeling like a little gritty and sandpapery around my, um, like, waterline and stuff. So it's not, that's not worth it for me to like risk damaging my eyes or anything like that. But having said that, that aside, um, I don't really feel like this did, it didn't volumize and I used it every day for a week, which is totally stupid because it was irritating my eyes. And I didn't feel that my lashes got fuller as time went on or anything. And I just, I think for Rimmel mascaras, this one's kind of a dud. So there you go, mascara roundup. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you soon, bye.